Chesapeake was a great venue uh, in that I can separate a little bit the acoustic guys from the electric guys because a guy that's selling a handmade $7,000 guitar can't always be heard, acoustic guitar can't always be heard over somebody playing through a Marshall Stack electric guitar. So it allowed us the opportunity to kind of separate those two, which was great. Guitar enthusiasts love what they see because we've got vintage guitars, we've got custom built guitars, uh, we've got electric guitars, we've got acoustic guitars, we've got ukuleles. Guitar enthusiasts just uh, eat this stuff up. Uh, and I just have a passion for guitars. I mean, that's why we did this. These are local builders that are right here in your backyard that people don't know about. This is it's great. Got a great bass response. Wow, man. I just, uh, yeah. And it's fretless. The, the it... So there hasn't been a guitar expo that's been local. There's a lot of people interested in guitars, both vintage, new, electric, and acoustic. So the venue worked for us. It was convenient. And uh, the outreach that we gather from this was perfect for us, a good match. At this show, you see a lot of boutique guitar builders. I mean, a lot of very, very fine quality instruments. We just love it down here, and I've been wanting to get my guitars into the Tidewater area. I've always been a woodworker, and when I'm making guitars, uh, I just, I love my day. <laughs> so I'm sawing my own wood and uh, run into this tree, some really nice wood, and here's this, here's this uh, natural sound hole that comes out of this. It took a little artistic uh, feel to be able to figure out how it's going to utilize it. The beautiful thing about guitars is they're beautiful works of art whose only purpose is to create another art. I don't know anything else that does that. You know, it's, I could look at a picture of a guitar all day long, but its purpose is to create a whole new art, you know, music. So it's just an amazing thing to me. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Put the uh, piece of vinyl in there and an LED light in the back, and you've got a cool little wall sconce. How do you like that? Anybody who loves uh, music, loves guitars, uh, the shape is iconic, and I think it just, for me, it makes for a really good conversation. Piece. If it happens to be a little bit more of a functional piece because of the, uh, the colors and the, the light, that's great. But any, anybody who loves guitars is going to love this too. You know, Likely it was already warped or cracked when I got it at a thrift store, so I don't feel so bad. You know, there's accessorizing with, with guitars. You know, we got the lady across the way here who does earrings out of guitar picks. What's so wrong about making a piece of wall art out of a guitar? The Chesapeake Conference Center has been wonderful working with us. They uh, recognized that this was getting uh, bigger and bigger, and we hope it's going to continue to get bigger. So they've expanded for us, knowing that we were getting bigger and bigger. We'd absolutely come back and see them. They've been a, a wonderful venue, and uh, yeah, we're happy to work with the guys over there. They're great. <laughs>